The UK government has 100% targeted Russell Brand, and at least three known emails mentioning a fourth, by the way, where they want to know, hey, is the man being monetized? And they're essentially demanding that he be banned as far as making money is concerned. Now, what is absolutely mental here is it doesn't look like they stop with Russell Brand. They extend it to you and I. They are talking about what platforms are doing to ensure that creators, plural, are not able to use the platform to undermine the welfare of, I'm not using their word here, I'm going to use the word accusers because we don't know if it's true or not, of inappropriate and potentially illegal behavior. Now, these are the same folks, by the way, that after Johnny Depp won, they said, hey, we're going to change the laws. We're going to make it where this doesn't happen again. Basically, you and I are never able to talk about things again. Now, we have the response of one platform so far that said, "Uh uh-uh, we're not going to do that. And it really makes you wonder if another platform, I wonder who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, their decision to demonetize, that was based on something like this. This is crazy, crazy times though. This is crazy times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So this is an absolute bombshell, in my opinion, and it should make people mad. Why? Because Russell Brand has not been tried. He has not been able to face it. Accusers, not been able to tell his side of the story. But despite that, we have the UK government reaching out and saying, hey, this guy, you need to make sure he cannot make money at all. Now, what's truly fascinating is how the mask slips contingent on who they're writing. I mean, when they're writing mainstream publications like the BBC, they're mentioning Channel 4. This is all about safeguards. They don't make demands outright. I mean, you can see implications of what they want, but they're not saying, you know, hey, we need this guy removed. We don't want him making money. And they also leave out those little tidbits like they put in the TikTok letter where this can be associated not only with Russell Brand, but associated with you and I just talking about this. So essentially, mainstream media, they become the arbiter of truth. Truth. You're not allowed to question it. If you question it at all, hey, you could be shut down. You could be demonetized. I mean, this stuff is absolutely insane. I want to read this to you because I want to make no mistake at all. I want you to see what they're saying here. Now, this is to Dr. Theo Bertram. Of course, this is to TikTok, you can see by email, sent September the 19th. Dear Theo, I am writing concerning the serious allegations regarding Russell Brand. In the context as a user of TikTok with more than 2.2 million followers on the platform, the culture, media, and sport is raising questions with broadcasters who previously employed Mr. Brand or production companies who have employed him to examine both the culture of the industry in the past and whether that culture still prevails today. Now you notice they're using the same talking point there, but that That's the only similarity you're going to get. Check this out. Here's the way it changes. Although Mr. Brand no longer appears on television, he now has a follower base on social media, including on TikTok, where this weekend he republished his preemptive response to the accusations made against him by the Sunday Times and Channel 4 Dispatches. While we recognize that TikTok is not the creator of the content published by Mr. Brand and his content may be within the community guidelines set out by the platform, we are concerned that he may be able to profit from his content on the platform. Love the typo, by the way, while you're making demands. Essentially, oh, you know, this has an implication. It's kind of like dealing with the mafia. Oh, you got a good platform. It'd be a shame if it fell down the stairs, right? We would be grateful if you would confirm whether Mr. Brand is able to monetize his TikTok posts, plural posts. You notice it's not just about that one post. It's about all of his posts, including his videos related to the serious allegations against him 
and what the platform is doing to ensure that creators are not able to use the platform to undermine the welfare of accusers of inappropriate and potentially illegal behavior. Again, you see it laid out. It is very, very clear. They want him to monetize. They don't want him to be able to make money at all over accusations. Yeah, Maybe Russell Brand very much was right about the motivation that places had. And beyond that, again, this creators, how does that apply? You know that's going to be targeted to people like yourself and myself. And this is through the circumvention of any new law. I mean, they found a way to basically ensure that they silence and they demonetize. They say de-incentivize, but... Channel 4 and the Sunday Times. The Times, they make money, right? Oh, but that that's not a problem because you're pointing the finger. Now, Rumble gets the exact same demand letter, and their response here puts the UK Parliament on blast. I think that is well-deserved, too. And you know, the more I thought about this, it's not just monetization that becomes an issue. It's exposure. When you have your platform demonetized, when videos are limited, they are not ad appropriate, that means that they're not going to get the same exposure because, hey, the platforms can't make money. So an accuser can go out they can monetize. They can end up trending their videos on the platform. But you making a response there, it may not go anywhere at all. You may not be able to make money. And your entire platform could be demonetized simply for being accused. I mean, this is insane stuff. And Rumble, again, they call it out. They say, hey, you know, today we received an extremely disturbing letter from the committee chair in the UK Parliament. They say, you know, we, we don't agree with these, these accusations here. And they do. They make it accusation. They say alleged here. They note, though, that it's vital to note that recent allegations against Russell Brand have nothing to do with content on Rumble's platform. They mention YouTube. They mentioned this platform saying, hey, on accusations alone, that ended up sidelining him. Rumble stands for very different values. We have devoted ourselves to a vital cause of defending free internet, meaning an internet where no one arbitrarily dictates which ideas can and cannot be heard or which citizens may or may not be entitled to a platform. We regard it as deeply inappropriate and dangerous that the UK Parliament would attempt to control who is allowed to speak on our platform or to earn a living from doing so. Singling out an individual and demanding his ban is even more disturbing given the absence of any connection between the allegation and his content on Rumble. They tell you, we don't actually agree with a lot of stuff here either, but you have the ability to say that. And although it may be politically and socially easier for Rumble to join a cancel culture mob, doing so would be a violation of our company's values and missions. We emphatically reject the UK Parliament's demands. Bravo, bravo. It is a messed up situation here. Absolutely messed up. Let me know what you think about this, though. And as always, appreciate you being here. If you want to help out the channel, sub to this sucker. Also, on top of that, share this. Check out the links in the description. And I do appreciate you. You make channels.